Assalamu alaikum today we'll be studying about the muscle attachments in the maxilla or the maxillary cast so i have these page markers and on these page markers i have mentioned some muscles and we'll try to arrange these page markers based on the position they occupy in the mouth so i would suggest you to watch the video on the anatomical landmarks first and i will leave the link in the description box below all right so first of all i'll start off with this thing this is the labial phenum so the labial phenum is a fold of mucous membrane which is present in the midline as you can see so it extends from the labial aspect of the residual ridge to the lip and it has a configuration varying from a uh, single to multiple and it is fan shaped superiorly so what is unique about this is that it has no muscle or action of its own it has no muscle or action of its own so what happens is if this frenum was attached very superiorly means if this frenum was coming till this pink or till this black point we can excise it we can cut it off so that our denture can get accommodated very well all right so this is the label frenum so i'll pick up this nope thing here i'm trying to find it because i'm holding a camera with one hand and i'll place it here all right so this is nope okay no muscle attachment or no action of its own then we have this labial vestibule okay so the labial vestibule has orbicularis oris muscle so this is the orbicularis oris muscle which is present here and this is the main muscle of the lip okay note here that the main support for the upper lip is obtained from the junction of the acrylic to the teeth and not from the periphery okay so this orbicularis oris muscle it goes horizontally right and then we have this buccal frenum so as we know the buccal frenum separates the labial vestibule with the buccal vestibule so this buccal frenum it lies above the levator anguli oris muscle so this muscle i'll just place it beneath this cast just to let you remember that it is present this frenum is present above this levator anguli oris muscle all right now we have this thing this is the buccal vestibule so this buccal vestibule its depth it depends upon its depth depends upon three things okay the first one is the buccinator so i'll just place the buccinator there so where is the buccinator let me just try to find it out so i'm going to place this buccinator here okay fine so this is our buccinator i should place it this way okay this is the buccinator so what happens is this orbicularis oris muscle it tries to pull the frenum forward because it is placed forwardly and this buccinator muscle it is present backwardly or posteriorly so it tries to pull the frenum backward all right so this is the action of these muscles on this frenum right so the size of the buccal vestibule it varies with the contraction of the buccinator muscle the position of the mandible and the amount of bone lost from maxilla okay so when the uh, mandible moves this area is modified that is why we ask the patient to open his mouth and pull the jaw left and right or pull the mandible left and right so that this area is properly recorded when we do border molding okay now when we talk about this thing uh the size and shape of distal end of the buccal flange it must be adjusted to accommodate the movement of the coronoid process of the mandible and the masseter muscle okay so when the mandible is opened wide and moved laterally the width and height of this area is reduced okay so if you record this area properly the retention and stability of the denture is greatly increased now we are left with this thing this is the hamiller notch and we learn that this is a depression which is present between the maxillary tuberosity and the pterygoid hamillus right so the pterygo mandibular ligament the only thing left here so i'll just place it here the pterygo mandibular ligament i hope you can see there also so the pterygo mandibular ligament okay it is attached to the hamillus and provision must be made for its movement So this was a brief idea about the muscle attachment. I hope you found it helpful. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and join me on Facebook. Allah Hafiz.